Всем привет, ребята! Мой трип Америка подходит к концу, но перед отлетом я хочу снять для вас хаус чек и небольшое интервью с Дэниел Дерсом, человеком, который является пятикратным чемпионом X Games, с многими другими титулами их даже не сосчитать. Он профессионально выступает и выигрывает соревнования на протяжении последних 10 лет. Живая легенда прямо здесь. Это его домик, и я просто покажу вообще, чем отличается жизнь про райдера в Америке с жизнью про райдера в России. Солидный домик, конечно, такой. Не маленький. Причем Даниэл Дерс, он не американец, он из Венесуэлы. И сейчас он сам об этом вам обо всем расскажет и заодно здесь покажет дом. Кодовый замок. Ну ладно, я не буду вам показывать, что за пароль. Тут вдруг вы все-таки найдете. Вычислите по солнцу, звездам и так далее, так далее. У нас здесь сейчас 6 человек и все рыбульные атлеты из разных стран. Хорватия, Россия, Колумбия. Коста-Рика, ну и Дэниел Дерс. И еще один год потерялся. Хорват реально, Хорват, наверное, нам будет мешать записывать звук. Hello, Daniel. Hello, Костя. Maybe we can go upstairs and, and feel something there. All right. Thank you, Marin. Thank you. You're welcome. Ten bucks. Don't do that, motherfucker. What again? Kiska. Kiska. Киска. Не-не-не, он до пор. Привет, Джарусский. Привет, Киска. Ну, спасибо. Спасибо. Я Киска. Я Киска. Ты действительно не. Я извиняюсь, но не. Привет, Киска. Убивай его, убивай его. No, no, it sounds more like uh, "Hello, I'm Kitty." Yeah, let's go. Здесь целый музей, честно говоря. Это просто жесть какая-то. Вот второй этаж здесь четыре, три, три спальни. All right. All right. What would you like to know? Uh, the first, how it start, you know, you're not American, you're yeah. from Venezuela. Yeah. How you become to be a world champion and... Uh, a, a lot of practice, a lot of riding. I believe, but... but just, well, I was in Venezuela until I was 16. I started riding there and, uh, you know, nothing, there wasn't much to ride. So, then I moved to Argentina when I was 16. Riding was a lot better there. There were skate parks, there were riders that had like good tricks. So I started riding a bit better, but the parks there started closing, the winter came, people don't ride there that much, or especially back then, maybe now there's a good crew of people, but then it wasn't much and that motivated me to come to the States. So anytime I came to the States, I was like, I don't want to miss a day of riding because when I go back home, yeah. I might not ride, like there's always something. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I rode every day, 10 hours a day, no matter what happened. I'll be dying, like crawling from exhaustion. I'll still go ride. <laughs> so I think, I think now it's like... You, oh. you was young. Like, yeah, I had to be, when I started coming here, I had to be like 19. Okay. 19, 20. And you had just a tourist visa, right? Yeah, I started with a tourist visa and then I did my athlete visa in 2006. 13, that? Well, yeah, it's like 12, yeah. 12 years ago. Yeah. And then I did my green card in 2010, I think. Something like that. Yeah. And now I got my US passport finally. 15 years after. Yeah, 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 yeah. a long time. So, uh, And what you see here is just the effort of all those years from you know, you have stuff from 2006 all the way to 2018. So, and they all probably have some sort of story. Oh, do you sir? X Games. Yeah, uh, so this was, uh, this was my first X Games. X Games used to be all around the world. They mm -hmm. had one in China, so I got one in Shanghai. And I remember I was living with Mira at the time. And when I go back, Dave always had some joke, and he's like, oh, D, you have to go all the way to Chinatown to get a gold medal. <laughs> so I was like, you know, it was kind of funny. And then that year, the same year, I won my first USA XM's gold medal, which put those are downstairs. He was a really good friend with Dave, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. 
с Дэйв Мира и с человеком, который... Вы, наверное, знаете, что и была игра на PlayStation, все прошли через нее. И вот э, они были очень хорошими друзьями. Окей, okay, do you have your first, like, first big competition and any... The first, first ever... How it's called, trophy? Tro first trophy. The first ever is in Argentina. Because at the time, so in 2005, I won Baker Jam. It wasn't like a big event, but it was my first pro event in the States that I won. Oh, okay. Then my first big event. Oh, mini match. Me is such a gold. He has bronze and silver. I think I'm missing trophies. Uh, I think um, Eric stole them. Just uh, or Marin. I think I'm missing two trophies. Is it your signature shoes? Yeah, so I had a signature shoe with DC in 2008. Uh, this this was mine and then Dave had his. Uh, and, oh, it's Dave's? Yeah. yeah. So Mira had that one, I had that one around the same time. And then my first... 2008, the model was DC, Mira and Dave. It's cool. So I am missing my first, my 2006 View Tours trophies. I don't know where they are, but I, did, I do have the cup. So it had to be this one. This is the first cup I got. First due tour. Mm -hmm. um, and then all the masters events. Uh, those were battles with uh, Webb, with Mark Webb, <laughs> Mini Ramp and Park. Um, I had a couple more over here. BMX Masters проводились в Германии. И они по сей день проводятся, но уже не такие большие соревнования, как сейчас. Но, к сожалению, затихли, но раньше это была целая битва. Это было одно из самых больших соревнований в Европе. And then you have the feast one. So this is from the first world tour. Their first World Series, I won that one. And this is this is one of the stops. And then I have a few more back here. The second places. Oh, damn, too many of them. Yeah, I have these. Um, CGN. Yeah, dude, there's all sorts of stuff from all sorts of times. Um, Yeah, that was from 2010 when I won the this cup here. Видите, там даже написано BMX Park на часах. <laughs> wow. Um, and then this one right here is uh, Ram Rider of the Year, uh -huh. 2008, from Ride BMX. Okay, what about um... World Championships in Mini Ram, 2009? <laughs> Mark, like, so Mark Webb, every time we competed, he used to beat me in Mini Ram. Uh -huh. uh, I would beat him here and there, but he won a lot of them. And then when the Worlds came up, I won the Worlds. And I remember he was like, dude, out of all the contests that I ever beat you, out of all the contests, you won the one that I wanted to win. So I was like, I got it. But yeah, I heard the story that like, uh, Mark Webb was really pissed because you always uh, came in from, uh, from America to yeah. Europe and won all, every single contest. <laughs> and it was good. Like, dude, like, what a fuck? Like, like this, this is my territory. It's not yours, right? <laughs> nah, he wasn't upset. He wasn't pissed. We we had good rivalry. It was never. Maybe at one point it got crazy, but it wasn't ever insane. Like we, I think we both respected each other. And once he started coming to the states, he saw that it was a different type of competition. It was the way riding was was way different than Europe. And you can probably tell when you watch videos. You know, people in Europe, I find that they're always a bit more technical. The mm -hmm. people in America. People in America are more about jumping and all that. So yeah, it was a bit of different styles, but he had he had everything, man. He could do tech, he could do big tricks. I didn't have that much tech. I could just do the tricks. So Okay, what about for example, you I think you're only one guy who competed on a professional level last ten years. And uh, who's like the the main uh, opponent? Rival? Huh? The main rival? Yeah, like, yeah, like, or opponent? Yeah, yeah, like um, the, the last uh, 10 years, who was, who was like every time make you nervous or something. <laughs> I think ultimately it's always been a battle against myself because it's like I had gone through so many different eras of riders. Like, you know, at the time it was Webby, I knew he was going to be there. At the time it was Spinner, at the time it was Scotty Kramer. Um, trying to think who else. So it's like always. All of them, it's different people. It's all for the last 10 years, I competed against different people. Like, yeah. I haven't had one person that stayed the last 10 years with me that was still like Respect. going at it. <laughs> thanks, <laughs> thanks. Yeah, um, I mean, you know, I mean, Webby's still around, but you know, he, I think he chilled out a bit. On yeah, the yeah, yeah, side. we can see that. So, when we compete, and I think after so much, you know, it's different. It's not like we see each other, and before it was like, okay. 
either you win or I win. We're going out now. It's like, hey, how's it going? You know, it's, it's different. We, we outgrew that rivalry part. That's insane, actually. <laughs> That's really insane. Yeah, it is. I mean, Thinking about it, it's only like... Only one guy from Venezuela <laughs> was able to compete for like 10 years straight. Yeah, uh, Nyquist has competed for a long, long time. By the time I came, he already had like 10 years going strong. And then he had probably another five or six because he won the last new tour, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's, it's still, it's his 10 years competing, but you last 10 years winning every competition. <laughs> so ah, you, know, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about your bikes? It's so many of them uh, here. So I keep. So these two are uh, the mirror replicas that Haro came out with. Их сделали, когда Дефмира трагическим образом погиб, и сделали специальный комплит полностью повторяющий его велосипед, на котором он катался, только в новом формате. Yeah, so I kept I bought this one, so I wanted to just have something from Dave, and then this one I won XM Munich in 2013. And then this one I won X Games and Dew Tour in 2010. This one I won X Games in 20... I remember this bike. 2011 maybe, I mm -hmm. think. And then the red one I won everything you could imagine in 2008. Um, and then this one I won... This is a new one, it's like three years, three yeah, years old. Yeah, not last year, but the year before when I won the Feast. World Tour, mm -hmm. check out this one. And I have, a, I have another bike and a couple other things at the park that I haven't brought yet because it's, it's kind of crazy. It's like from uh, every year, one bike. Every year that I want something uh -huh. important, I try to keep the bike. Yeah, so like my first x bike, it got stolen, so I don't have that one. Oh, damn. Uh, this is the second, I think the third, fourth, and fifth. Okay, so I have all, I have four out of the five x bikes. Mm -hmm. I have, ooh, I have fees. I want to say I have the other fees bike somewhere. Is it also for first place? I won a snowboarding competition in What winter. What do you mean snowboarding competition? A winter due to I won a snowboarding. No way. Yeah, I won two years in a row. No, no, Not in a row, no. but. <laughs> I don't believe you. I, yeah, I, I'm lying. Uh, so due to when you win a stop back in the days, they will also give you a gift from the city. And I won in Salt Lake, so so their gift was uh, the snowboard. And apparently this is measured to my size and everything. I never used them, but... Um, oh, this is a new one. Yeah, that I got it. The t Like that shirt right there is a picture of uh, of Mark, of Webby. Oh. <laughs> so like, yeah, I, I tried to keep something from people. This is from Pannonian. This thing is like a lead. It's kind of crazy, weird trophy. See, this was a, a gift from New Tour. Um, this is uh, Feast Jeddah from last year. Mm -hmm. In Saudi Arabia. Munich Mash, you remember? Did yeah. you, win, you win that one? Yeah, I had wow. the same one but gold. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> uh. Yeah, but well, <laughs> you know, it's. You won like... a few, there's a few ones that are missing because you took them, but I, I don't <laughs> remember. I definitely know Mash. Uh, what was the other one? The Amsterdam contest? Amsterdam, Barcelona. It was one year when I won in every competition. He won the second and I won the first. Then I started some trauma. It was a bad accident. I stopped moving. And I started to get into the form for a half year. It's a crazy thing. Olympic Games. Yeah, okay, let's talk about the form. Yeah, 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 let's talk about the form. You came to America and now you have you have a house, skate park and uh, all that stuff. You right. kind of just a lot of time and effort. So there's two okay. things that happen as well. So like you know all the training, all the dedication, all the time. The competitions back you know five years ago were a lot bigger than what they are now. So now you know you have fees going out internationally, and it is the biggest event at the moment. Maybe mm -hmm. besides X Games and when Nitro Circus does something. But back in the day, the Utro was insane. You have five stops. Uh, each stop was like $15,000 for first. Mm -hmm. And then if you win the cup, it was 75,000 to win the cup. Wow. Yeah, so like, you know, now with fees, I think it's 8,000 if you win the stop. 
and then it's maybe like 10 or 12 or something like that if you win the overall. So like it's good money for now, but yeah, yeah, it, it but doesn't compare to what it did, what it was back then. What the biggest prize money would you ever got? One year in 2008, I got a check for like 102,000 maybe because I won the cup of 75. I got second at that stop, so mm -hmm. that's 10 more. So that's 85. And then I won athlete of the year. I split it with Bestwick, but I can't remember how much it was. But I want to say it was at maybe under 100,000. But it was a crazy check, like especially when you get it, you're like zero, 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 zero. You're like, holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just one competition, and you're usually like winning 10 during the. Yeah, but then, but again, it was like, so that had the bonus of winning all the other stops. Mm -hmm. So, it, it, like in one event, yes, I did get that, but two of the awards you have to think is a result of the whole year. Uh -huh. uh, but the biggest from one competition, like no bonus, no nothing, was X Games. And that used to be $50,000. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, it was a different, different days, different worlds. <laughs> Это, ну вот это реально деньги, которые вот я заработал за день, катаясь на детском велосипеде. А у этого дедули получается, что просто десятым, три с половиной миллиона, это жестко. Вы понимаете, что можно выиграть квартиру, пойти купить. Поэтому у него дом с... Может быть, мы сделаем быстрый хаус чек, если вы не понимаете. Окей, так у нас здесь офис. Офис здесь? Это инвертный стол. Это помогает стрессить вашу голову, чтобы когда я чувствую тяжело, Uh, mm -hmm. My lower back muscles are pulled in the past, so like you can't ride for a week. So anytime I feel like I'm starting to feel sore, I'll do this. It's, you just do it for a few minutes. Me like cover. You know that. So yeah, we have that. Oh, a ride magazine cover. Oh. Это самый большой журнал по BMX в вообще в мире. И вот он на обложке. What's the year? 2008. 2008 год в рамочке. That's that's really cool. Кладовочка. This is your presidential suite where you stay the whole the whole two weeks. Это моя комната, в которой я последние две недели провел. Ну, надеюсь, ничего интересного. Там кладовочка. How many bathrooms do you have in uh, in this? One, two, three bathroom. So it's three bathroom, five bedroom. You yeah. have Keith's room right here. The walk-in closet. Ну, да. Просто зашли к чуваку, но не к нему, а к его сожителю. Вот это самое крутое в Америке. Здесь есть стиральная машина и сразу же сушилка. How cold is that thing? Dryer. Dryer? Yeah. Just a dryer. Just a dryer, yeah. Ну, короче, да, просто сушилка. Я ни разу не видел таких в России, но это просто самая великолепная вещь, которую можно найти. Достаешь вещи, они мокрые, скомканы, кидаешь сюда. Через 30 минут они абсолютно сухие, и их не надо гладить, они как будто уже отутюжены. Жалко, что у нас таких нет, у них есть целая комната под это. We don't have the dryer in Russia. Yeah, yeah, Russia. No. we don't have any in Venezuela either. Yeah, it's like, like we have to have a dry them. By yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, I live there. Yeah, that's crazy. We have my room here. Ну, uh, естественно, самая большая комната. Wow. Yeah, and Oh damn, man. I never all been there. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is only like a third of all my hats. Wow. I have like maybe double this in the, one of the closets. How long are you riding for Red Bull? Uh, 12 years. 12 years? I started in 2007 and this is 2009. In February it will be 12 years. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Yeah, new hats like from like a year ago. I haven't been able to wear them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't you definitely don't need that many. I like hats man, so it's been great <laughs> with Red Bull because I know I can I always have a fresh hat anytime <laughs> I need one. <laughs> but yeah, I mean and I have hats in Venezuela and I think I have in Argentina. Just because I've been with them for so long. Yeah. You know? so Twelve it years it's great. it's <laughs> It's more, it's like more than half of here, Eric's life. Ну, в общем, мы, естественно, что он, как владелец дома, занял... Он занял самую большую спальню, у него здесь и ванна, и это, и шкаф, 
душевая, душевая вообще все есть. И еще кепки. More caps. <laughs> oh yeah, more hats. So these are my daily hats. Those yeah. are like whenever I feel like I want a new one. Я на самом деле за те две-три недели, что провел здесь, даже в эту комнату ни разу не заходил. Было как-то неудобно. Сейчас он сам все показал, я офигел. This bike was the first in my life, you know, it's like kind of... Um, Sentimental value. Yeah, 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 <laughs> I'll never get rid of it then. Especially with this seat. Oh, that seat is nice. Он просто меня уничтожил. Я связал с велосипеда не потому, что устал, потому что мне уже, ну все, не могу, больно. Нужны специальные трусы, чтобы в них на этом велике кататься. Ну, вы это, может, видели в предыдущих видосах. Here you have Kenneth. Oh, Kenneth. Hanging out of the house. Yo. Oh, X Games. So this is my first bronze. This is my first ever X X Games medal, and then second, third, fourth. Fifth. Um, but yeah, so the, I like this one. This middle thing spins. Then I like this one because it's like a police badge from LA. And this uh, this is at the same park we competed at Munich Mash. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I won there in 2013. I'm trying to fucking beat you guys and not making it easy. Helmets, helmets, helmets. And then helmet. this is my first ever Red Bull helmet. So you see how, how they used to have like designs that you could pick. Mm -hmm. uh, now it's basically this design. So, um, but yeah, I like this one. I, I like actually, I like all. Сейчас можно Red Bull на шлема делать только обычные, то есть чтобы было разделение в клеточку, как вот здесь, видите, серая, серая, синяя, синяя. А раньше можно было абсолютно любой рисунок нанести. Главное, чтобы была надпись Red Bull. Поэтому здесь были какие-то просто завитушечки. Города, он вообще он абсолютно синий. Signature can. Wow, a yeah, signature can. That was a uh, Germany did it in 2013 uh, in preparation for X Games there. So. Simple session. Yeah, like. Um, I'm pretty sure you don't need the, this one there because it's just simple station. Oh, oh my god. No, I like it. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I run out of space, man. This thing weighs 5 kg, maybe 4. It's very heavy. Yeah, and then uh, there's another mirror frame I got. But it, that's original, right? Original. original, yeah, this is the OG one. So this, I had us, uh, the same frame. Not the first year, but my second year I started riding. Mm -hmm. I, I got, I had a mirror bike, the same colors and everything. Um, so like, a friend of mine told me that they have one for sale. So I said, yeah, I want to get it. I just need to find a place to hang it. Um, but yeah, and then another Skylines that was from uh, Paris. Paris had a contest there. You um, know, that's probably the best park contest that ever happened. The ramps were massive and everything was a bit scary. So it was good to have. Um, yeah. Uh, what about? I just saw the Michi Samurai. Where are they? The computer? No, no. The. Oh, um, oh the swords. Yeah, yeah. Um, I just saw them one day and was like, "What is that?" <laughs> well, more trophies. <laughs> so this is. I won this contest called Jomo Pro in 2008, and I got second in 2009. Can I? Yeah. yeah. That's a real sword, but be careful, it has like a little grease. You can get it out, but... Wow. What that, of course, a big trophy. Just a match samurai. Oh, do you want to fight with Russian? Oh, no, don't fight with Russian. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, and uh, it has it engraved on the blade as well. It's a bit hard to see, but... Yeah, it's going to be hard to see. And that one does it. Does have it as well. Yeah, I don't know, I'll try it. Johnny Ninja, first place. Wow. Well, I had these toys, <laughs> these bikes. Wow. Signature toys. <laughs> 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 
I kept your picture from a couple of years ago, or maybe last year that you came. I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, it's in here. Приятненько, приятно оставляю это дальше, если он здесь такой. О, 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 не, 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 тихо, тихо, стоять. Вот это я ему. Ты honored. Thank you, thank you, thank you, really, I appreciate it. It's, it makes a lot for me. Oh, it's, yeah, you give me a gift, I keep it. It's mean a lot for me. So, this was a hat I bought in China for a contest one time ago. I need, I need a Red Bull one. Really... Just put a Red Bull sticker over there. I don't know, I have the stickers too. Yeah. So I thought about it. United gave me a plane for flying with them so much. Yeah, mine. I like the attire, all in black. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> you do look like the Black Panther. Is this, uh, is this, третья ванная комната? Просто никто никого не тревожил. Then there's another closet here. Then, oh, and the main thing. And then the garage. Oh, the car. Что кошки не выбежали? So yeah, in the car, drive this every day. Um, а здесь, yeah. а здесь еще больше велосипедов. Запчасти, запчасти, покрышки, велик, велик, рамы. Жесть какая. Yeah, it's crazy, huh? All this from BMX riding. Everything from BMX riding. Everything. Yeah, I feel Everything. <laughs> That's the craziest part. It's like riding a bike you never really saw. It. Yeah, just Especially coming from an obscure country in the world. You know, it's not like Venezuela, it's known for BMX riders. Yeah. You know, so yeah, that's a thing what makes me the happiest is Knowing that, damn, it's been a long time, a lot of effort, but... But have you ever had a work in your life? I mean, like... When I was work. younger, yeah, but nothing like... crazy, but yeah, I used to design websites. I used to uh, work at my, with my dad at bowling alley, so I have to, like, build the bowlings and all that. Yeah. I worked on the mechanical side, I worked, like, saying hi to people. So I did little jobs, but never anything <laughs> crazy. <laughs> did you ever think about, like, the kids' bike, I mean, the, you know, children' bike, gonna bring you to this, to this no, life. No, my, the only thing I wanted to do was like get respect from people, the respect that I was able to ride and do tricks as well. So like it was never ever about winning the contest, it was ever, it was always about like making sure that I was, I was able to show that I can do different stuff, that I can do cool things or whatever. And um, in 2006, my dad was like, hey, you need to stop riding, you need to stop competing, like you need to come work with us because I wasn't making any money. I think I had a sponsorship from Haro that was like $500 a month. And I thought I was rich. I was like, dude, this is so much money because I didn't spend much money when I was here. Yeah. I lived at Woodward for free. I was staying in Greenville for free. And uh, I told him, hey, I'll compete this whole year. If I don't make top 10 by the end of the year, I stop riding, I go work in Argentina, whatever. Uh, but if I get top 10, uh, I think I can make enough money to ride my bike and keep doing this for until it stops. And it's like, okay. And I end up winning the due tour that year. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we Yeah, did, yeah, we, we can we, imagine it's so like we, another 30, 30 grand. No, that was 75 plus 30,000. <laughs> yeah, it was like a hundred and fifty thousand dollar year. So I went from making like five hundred dollars or, yeah, oh or six thousand dollars in one year to like a hundred and fifty or something. Yeah, so, I think I think your parents were proud so, about it. And you. when we talked, we never talked about it. I think when I was receiving the cup, we both looked at each other and it was like we knew. And okay. then that was it. Friend, это вообще что-то с чем-чек. Не сдался, поставил на конце, говорит, окей, хорошо, я буду стараться, я буду, я, я, я сделаю все возможное, чтобы этот детский велосипед стал образом жизни, и у него получилось. And the last question, I think, because we have to go to our airport right now. Yeah. <laughs> How do you feel to, like, right now you have one of the best skate park in the world, just your own skate park, and we going to Olympics, you know, like different countries, Costa Rica, Russia. Croatia. <laughs> we don't know where he's from. America or Venezuela, it doesn't matter. And um, you hosting all of us in your house <laughs> and uh, make us like and make us feel better on the bike. I mean, we can beat you for just because yeah, ju yeah. Ju just because we spend one month in your place at your house riding at your skate park. It and is it is possible, but at the same time it's like 
I don't know, like you have to put the runs down when it counts. Like I've seen people train insane and then they go to the event and they can't put it together. So like it's not just about the training, there's a lot more to it. And you know, like to me it's a pleasure, like I get to ride, I get, I get pushed to ride as well. You know, it's like when I see you guys doing stuff, it's like, okay, I want to learn this, I want to learn that. Like, you know, I see you guys do three with no hand on the spine, no problem. It's like, maybe I'll learn that, you know? And just like when Kenneth is here, like he does some stuff and I get like, okay, I want to uh -huh. do that stuff too. So like, you know, it's, I think it goes hand in hand. Like, you know, you guys are riding and everything here, but I also get motivation from you guys coming here. So I think at the end of the day, it benefits everyone. And again, I like, I, I like it when you guys come visit. So. It, you know, it keeps the progression going for Yeah, thank everyone. you very much for that. Like, we really appreciate it, me and Eric, for, for that. Yeah, no problem, anytime. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> and uh, can you, like, give a few tips for, like, for who? guys who, like, start right BMX and they really want to be better, like, the best in the game and... Ride every day. The key is to ride as much as you can. And that's it. You know, ride, ride, ride. It doesn't matter if it's the best skate park. If it's just the streets, whatever it is, you just need to ride, you know, and then once you got some riding in, try to travel, see the world, like BMX will host you everywhere that you go, you know, anywhere in the world that there's BMX riders, they will most likely try to help you be around them. So, you know, it's just like you came from Russia, it's like a country that's not very well known in BMX. And now you have to go everywhere in the world, you know, and you have met many people everywhere and now you have friends worldwide. So like, yeah, that's what I can recommend to kids. It doesn't matter where you're from. It doesn't matter if you have a lot of money or not. Just, you know, set your mind to do it and you never know what could happen. <laughs> agree. agree. Thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. Oh, maybe you want to give a gift to to guys who who will watch this video. Yeah, I don't have anything. No, I mean, I you, 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 you know, right I mean, now. not something from these, just something small, but uh, motivate the the young generation. We look, oh my gosh, this is like, this is key from board champion. <laughs> I, can, I can give them a shout out on Instagram as <laughs> a like. Right now, I mean, I have stuff, but I, I will have to look. But I, have, I don't know what I could give away because yeah. everything has a sentimental value. It's like, oh, your sign. Just, okay, just sign somewhere. Something. Uh. <laughs> yeah, this one uh, looks fine. <laughs> just, just sign this one. Yeah. All right. It's your, it's your album. It's your single. You know. It's yeah. yeah it's, it's my, my music. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> what is nineteen? The year. So every time you sign, you sign the year because you don't know. In ten years, someone might come with bring something from this oh. era and you'll be very happy to see it like oh shit i remember that so okay all right это достанется одному из вас как небольшой сувенирчик okay yeah i think that's it well, time to say goodbye Тут еще небольшой дворик есть с барбекю наверное не барбекю нет просто есть диванчик с беседочкой такой Кайф вообще, не жизнь, а сказка. Единственное, что мне не нравится в американских домах, так это они картонные. Просто все стенки, они... Если чуть-чуть после не ударить, то проделается дырка, я уверен. То есть, ну, ночью все слышно, всегда все слышно. Если ощущение, что здесь пойдет снег очень сильный, то все провалится, все обрушится. Реально, стрёмно. Немного. Надо спросить у него. Сейчас напоследок, сколько он платит за этот дом. Ну, интереса ради. Сколько это будет э, по соотношению с квартирами в Москве, например. То есть мы находимся в Северной Каролине. Очень там, в 20 минутах от центра города Роули. Может, 30 минут. Но достаточно близко. And uh, they're like... Just wondering how much cost that house in Роули. I mean, not like this. I don't know. You can find a nice house from 150 all the way to whatever you know yeah i mean with five bedrooms and there oh, no, <laughs> no. it's like million and a half <laughs> <laughs> no i don't uh, think so yeah i mean it could be from 250 350 Two, 250 350 yeah, something like that это получается 20 миллиончиков как трешка 
Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, you can, for this money you can buy free room apartments in Moscow. Like somewhere close to the city central, yeah. But it's, it's not in the city central. It's like still one hour away in the traffic. <laughs> but it's gonna you cost the same money. Uh, what's the airport? The Domodedovo? Huh? The Domodedovo. The Domodedovo. My dear, what? What's going on? For me, what? Совершенно недавно знакомые на юго-западной купили квартиру за 20 с чем-то миллионов трехкомнатную на юго-западной. Это вообще окраина города Москвы. Но в хорошем доме типа в новом. Все классно. А здесь может целый дом с пятью спальнями, с огромной гостиной, с гаражом на две тачки, с вообще... Фу. Это, естественно, не Калифорния. В Калифорнии такой дом будет стоить, ну, порядка миллион долларов, наверное, может быть. Чуть больше. Но, тем не менее, вы поняли посыл. Все, со всеми попрощался. Bye. 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 Good luck on simple solution. Thank you very much. See you in a couple months, I guess. Bye. Have a nice trip. Thank you. Thank you, Martin. Love you. Бай. Фух. Ну, кроме СЗДР мы увидимся через два дня, с Кеннетом мы тоже увидимся через два дня. Только с Маринкой мы увидимся через несколько месяцев. Жалко. Люблю, ребят. Буду скучать. Все мы в аэропорту. Процесс сдачи машины был абсолютно простой. Еще проще, чем ее арендовать. Мы приехали, ее сканировали, дали нам чек. Мы причем даже не выходили из машины. То есть нам все отдали прямо на месте, вот просто на парковке. Мы открыли багажник, забрали вещи, вышли, все. Машина сдата. Это, это заняло, наверное, секунд 20 в общей сложности. Очень удобно. Также сразу же подъехал автобус, который на халявку нас довез до аэропорта. И мы уже сваливаем. Да, тяжелые два дня, конечно, выдались. Они, они больше, да, и тяжелые эмоционально. Слишком много всего произошло. Вот это вот, э, катание, вот эта ситуация с доволом. Вот это все так это вымотало. Сейчас сборы какой-то торопились, ужас. Подписывайтесь, сезон начался, дальше будет еще интереснее. Впереди куча приключений, я сейчас уже разговариваю поездки в Африку, в Кейптаун. То есть, ну, вы понимаете, да, масштаб? Должно быть много всего крутого и интересного. Пока.